So this is our native wild hazel. This is uh, Corylus cornuta, whereas the Turkish tree hazel was Corylus colurna. And uh, the native wild hazel, uh, also known as the beaked hazel, because the husk extends beyond the nut like the beak of a bird. Uh, these are the earliest ripening of all hazelnuts. So these were harvested back in July. And, uh, and, and when you can separate the shell from the husk, just like I did there, that's a sure indicator of ripeness. So, you know, you think of nuts as a fall crop, but in the case of the wild beaked hazelnut, it's actually a July crop here in western Washington. So mid-July. Uh, to late July, depending on the year and the location and the individual tree. There aren't any real selections of the native wild hazel. They're just uh, grown in the wild. Now this particular species is found from California uh, up through British Columbia, so through Alaska and Oregon and um, southern Alaska, uh, Oregon, Washington, and uh, um, northern California east um, I was harvesting these last year in Minnesota, up north of Duluth, along the Great Lakes, around the same time, uh, in, uh, in uh, late July, so uh, uh, early August, right in there, so in a very northern location. So this is a very widely adapted species found in North America, and uh, you can't think of them as a fall crop, because these are a July crop, and by August, by... Uh, September, there won't be anything left because the jays will, or the squirrels will have taken everything. So you want to you wanna look for uh, when you can separate the shells readily from the husks as a key to ripeness. Incidentally, the native beaked hazelnut has fine irritating hairs, which to some people uh, might warrant the use of gloves when, when handling them. Uh, and uh, they are very shrub-like. Uh, they can grow in sun or shade, but they're not going to be very productive in the shade. So they're a real pioneer species. They adapt well to newly disturbed areas and such, and, um, and are, and are a very common understory shrub uh, uh, throughout much of North America.